Good Sunday morning, everybody. I don't know how good a picture you're going to get of that. We're standing in our driveway, and these are the woods next to our house. Can you see that little bit of movement in the center of the screen? That's a baby deer in the woods. So cool. Everybody. It's Monday morning, December 31st, 11.09 a.m. No one get excited. I only know that because it's New Year's Eve and I'm sitting in front of the iPad. See? Um, anyway. We are getting ready to go run some errands and Lily, of course, is begging for extra attention. It's almost like she knows we're getting ready to go out for run errands and leave her here. I'm gonna leave you here. We're gonna leave you here. Well, she jumps on people. We'll leave me here. So that's a problem. <laughs> so anyway, we're almost out of coffee and a bunch of other things. So we need to go run some errands. We gotta mail a package for Polly and stuff like that. So we're gonna go get it done and we'll be back. Everybody, happy New Year's Eve. It is, I don't know, what time is it? It's the 31st. It's uh, nine minutes after six. Not, there you go. Nine minutes after six. I spent most of the afternoon working on some new products for Etsy that took way longer than they were supposed to. And after uh, much trials and tribulations and threats to throw my silhouette um, cutting system out the upstairs window, I did finally get it done. So there's some new uh, modern atomic sticker listings in Etsy. Um, that was way harder than it was supposed to be. There was a software update. You now need to print registration marks. All kinds of things. Anyway, I got it done. Um, Fred's cooking. What do, um, make, what do you make it, Fred? So we went to a big store, one of those big box stores that ends in Mart. And um, it doesn't have a K in front of it. It's got the other one. Anyway, we got one of these prepared meals. It's crispy pork chops. That wasn't from me. It wasn't from a K. No, but we didn't get it at Walmart. Yes, we did. We did. How much wine have you had? <laughs> None. I'm sober. Um, I thought we got it at Fred Meyer. No. We went, remember yesterday we went to... Yeah, today we went to Walmart. Today we went Yesterday to we went oh. to Fred... See? Hey, I'm the one who's sober. Hello. Yeah, we got some hey. She's like hanging right there near him. And she's only happy when the two of us are on the same floor of the house. God forbid I should go upstairs, or he should, and the other one's down here. She don't like that too much. Things here? Oh, yeah. And funky I, little bracket. Fun, funky little bracket. So I went, to hold it in so the whole thing doesn't come out. So it doesn't, come, it doesn't yeah. come up and down. Yeah. I haven't been able to find these in, um, in, um, on store? Amazon or over at uh, Home Depot, so I'm going to see if I can't reuse it. But I might take one of these out and see if I can't. But these are in pretty good condition, so I might just reuse them. I'm not so worried about those. When we bought the house, the prior order owners had the same problem we did. That wait, wait, when there's hold no. It, hold it. Oh, yeah, we have light. There okay. You go. When there's no uh, lip on here, you open and close these and move them around and then shit falls off and I actually have broke up at least one bottle. But their DIY fix was to put these plastic things not very neatly. Look at all this glue. Well, what am I going to do? So Fred's fixing it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I found at the hardware store for three bucks a piece drawer handles that are round, that are um, four, inches, four inches long. I'm going to put one here and one over here, and the little four-inch um, handles are going to come here and here, and they're going to hold everything in place. And look nicer and than so the cheap old plastic and yeah, all the crazy glue. That looks cheap. That looks like shit. Yeah. So, pardon me. It looks like crap. Well. So, right now, I'm in the process of um, sanding down, getting rid of all the glue, gr Gorilla Glue, getting rid of this plastic thing here, and I'm refinishing them with natural um, wood 
uh, stain, stain okay. natural stain. Yes. Yeah, they didn't even do all of them. They just did some of them, which is again yeah, like the bottom weird. ones. They just put like they just did a. Um, that one has a piece of wood. Has a piece We're going to just leave that it. one. We're just going to leave that alone. Anyway, and we also put a light because it's like yeah, blacker yeah. than pitch in there. You can't, and, and at late afternoon, we're in the Pacific Northwest, on, you can't see anything. Off. Yeah, see, cool. Off, on. Yeah. So anyway, All right. and they also put a divider in here, too, or something. So those are the ones I, the ones I can take out, I'll take out. Those are the ones that I can't, I'll leave in and just play around with We're going to have to do them in place. Do them in place, or maybe take the whole thing out, or I'll, we'll see. But I'm going to do the doors first. Okay. Once the doors look good. We'll do the rest. We'll do the rest. This, we're filming an episode of Cooking with Fred. I'm Fred. So he's Fred in the new kitchen at the new house in the Pacific Northwest. So if you're able to, you should go check that episode out. We'll link it in the description below. Okay, I'm heating up. See, she up. just ate and she's still hoping to get more. Okay. Oh, she's still in the kitchen begging. Because you know. Yeah, you want one? She loves vegetables. Let's try She's it. She's a crazy dog. Here. She likes spinach. Well, she, she the likes only it. thing she doesn't like is what was it, lettuce? She didn't like lettuce. What did she what else didn't she like? I thought it was just lettuce. She loves celery. Yeah, she's a, we've never had a dog that liked vegetables as much as my daughter's dog Lily. All the dogs we've ever had, they don't like vegetables unless they're covered in meat juice. Lily could give a crap. It's, as long as it's coming from you, she'll eat it. Except lettuce. She doesn't like lettuce. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, January 2nd. I know that because I'm in front of the computer, although I did hesitate. Yeah, anyway. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. I think I just forgot to turn the camera on. I was chatting with friends, catching up on some work, and um, getting some stuff done before the husband went back to work today. And I think I just forgot all about turning the camera on. We're still babysitting Lily until Friday. So there, she doesn't like to lay on the hardwood floor. She, she prefers the carpet. So she's there in the doorway waiting for me to finish so we can go downstairs. And she's looking all over the place for Grandpa, which she can't find because he went to the office and she's not too happy about that. So anyway, I'm going to get my daily postings done. I'm here on Facebook and I'm going to get the rest of my daily posts done. I just got done posting all my stuff in my creative year. So now I have to do everything else and then I'm going to take a shower and I've got to put Lily in the C-R-A-T-E so I can go run some errands. <laughs> All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be Say, back. Okay, number one, I forgot my sunglasses. Uh, number two, small town life. It's like walking into Cheers when you go to McCann's. Hey, Gina, how are you? I, I just, yeah, I'm so not used to that. And those of you who are too young won't get the Cheers reference and I'll know who you are. <laughs> All right, next stop. I gotta go to the bank, I gotta go to Target, I gotta go to the grocery store. Yeah, let's go get it done. Good morning everybody, it is Thursday morning, January 3rd, 2019, and it is, what time is it? 9.45 a.m., don't get excited, I'm in front of the computer. That's the only reason I know. I do think it's funny, do you see the black shadow, moving shadow there in the hallway behind me? It is pretty funny. I told her to lay down and to stay, and God bless her. She's doing exactly that, although she is crawling around on the hallway while she's laying down, sniffing and licking the carpet. I don't know what she's doing, but it's pretty funny. She's crawled all the way from my doorway across the hall to the other open doorway there, which is my husband's office, and she's headed back again. I don't know. It's pretty funny. Anyway, I've got all my daily postings done. I got a new Etsy listing done this morning. I did another one last night, and I'm going to actually double-check the listing I did this morning, make sure I did it right, because um, I didn't do the one last night right, and I had to go on late last night and fix it. I forgot to add the files. It doesn't help because um, it's a di digital download. So anyway, 
uh, I'm going to go after that and take a shower and get dressed. And then I've got some filming to do. So I'm going to try to get that done today. And I still have the paperwork to do. So I just need to do it by Monday. I also need to clean the house. Our cleaning lady is on vacation visiting her family for Christmas. So I'm going to, um, normally that's, you know, whatever. We're pretty clean people, but I'm having company tomorrow. So I'm going to give, at least give the bathrooms a once over and a uh, vacuum. So <laughs> she's licking the carpet again. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Morning. It is, I know it's morning. It's Friday, January something. Fourth, I think. Um, anyway, I am currently in the Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> um, it's been an interesting morning already. And anyway, I won't get into it on social media or in public, but let's just say that we have fewer people coming over for dinner than we thought, which is fine by me. It's just us and the kids, really cool. So I can keep it easy and just do something healthy. Healthy pizza. That was the request. Do those two things even go together? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the hardware store. I need a couple bits and pieces at Michael's and then I'm gonna hit Fred Meyer. I'll bring you with me if anything interesting happens. All right, I'll be back. Holy cow, bad drivers are everywhere, not just in California. I already knew that before I moved. Um, there's less of them other places than there are in California. But here's a tip for y'all. If you see a car that's backing up out of a parking space, know that is not a good time to drive behind them. Holy cow. Right. And that was in the Michaels parking lot. Now we're headed to Fred Meyer and then Home Depot. Anyway, I'll be back. Hello everybody. I would say good morning, but it's not morning anymore. It's 12:15. It's Saturday, December, ah uh, no, January 5th. 5th. All right. So, spent the morning talking with some friends and just puttering around the house. I was trying to set up an Am Amazon influencer website, which I don't know. There's a lot of problems with it. It doesn't want to let me do it, although I am approved. I don't know. It got sent a ticket to t their tech support because it should have let me um, save and anyway, it didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the pictures were too, the images I wanted to use on the banner were too big or I don't know. It doesn't tell you. It just says it can't reload. It can't load. Try again. That's not helpful, Amazon. Anyway, now we have a carload of stuff we're going to go take to donations. So we're going to hit um, uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore. I keep saying Harbor Freight. They don't take donations there. I don't know what the deal is with me. And whatever they won't take, we're going to take to Goodwill. And then we've got to go to Home Depot and yeah. So we'll be back. So we just donated the old ugly ceiling light fixture in from the dining room to the Habitat store. Hopefully it fits with somebody else's decor better than it did ours. I'll put it right about here. But now I'm going to go shopping. It is, I don't know what time it is in the evening. Uh, it's after 5 o'clock. I don't think it's 6 p.m. yet, but anyway. Uh, it's still Saturday. Hello. <laughs> we spent the rest of the afternoon running around making donations to Goodwill and Habitat for Humanity. Of course, I did a little shopping while I was at Habitat because, you know, it's my store. So not only do they have recycled building materials and repurposed building materials, tools, and hardware, my Habitat for Humanity Restore has a small home goods section, and they have china and glasses and decor pieces they also sometimes have miscellaneous oddball stuff and this time they had office supplies so they got from somebody so i picked up a couple different packs of avery labels um, this one is easy peel clear mailing labels both for inkjet printers because that's what i have um, this is number 8667 these are the small little ones that are 80 labels per per sheet so I got that one. Neither one of these are full. They've both been opened, but they still have both a lot of sheets in them. Um, this next one has a little more. These are white ones and this uh, same size label, um, but these are plain white. 
and this is 8167. And this one actually feels like it's almost full. And I was going to check and see. Yep. So the one I usually use for my Etsy store, 8167, which I was going to need to buy more because there's only two sheets left in that. I got each one of those packs for a dollar. And the thin one has at least 10 sheets in it. So that was pretty cool. Cool. I got some happy mail from Teresa uh, Sliger in Benton, Kansas. I think it's a book she told me she was going to send. So thank you, Teresa. It finally got here. Yay. <laughs> um, I picked up a few of these um, free healthy living uh, magazines from um, Habitat for Humanity. This one particular one's called Natural Awakenings. And um, I think it'll be interesting read, but also, I mean, I, how am I not going to pick up anything with that image on the front cover? Like, honestly. And the word awakening, like, is a good word to cut out to use and put in your word stash. I also got a refresh order from DecoArt of some things I either didn't have or I was running out of. So my table's full of stuff. They sent me some more pouring medium. Um, thank you, DecoArt. I do love your pouring medium. It's a very good, affordable value. I've got more of the clear, clear pouring top coats and brush cleaner. A couple bottles of DecoPage. I've got a DecoPage mat and DecoPage gloss, which both of which I was out of or nearly out of. And I think I'm going to take the um, one of the ones I have that's open, that's almost empty, and tint it just a little bit. I like to have one that's tinted like antique um, and just like a little bit off. So I think I'm going to do that with some of the leftovers. And then I have a bunch of the metallic luster uh, waxes and, in all the different colors because I want to try those on um, some um, artwork soon. They are uh, really cool metallic yeah. waxes, uh, not unlike the Viva Decor wax, um, I, but I like these a little better. Um, one reason being that the tubs are a smaller amount, um, the price is really good, um, but the bigger tubs, they just dry out before you're going to honestly use them all up. So um, I want to try some things on black paper with these. Um, Peg, my friend Peg Robinson did a... Um, uh, live recently on her channel where she did a doodle page on her black journal and with blue paint if you all have watched our joy of sharing you know exactly what I mean um, and a bunch of people are taking inspiration from that I'm I'm one of them I want to do a twist on it I want to see if I can use these metallic lusters on a page um, there, it's not paint exactly it's wax so what would that do on a page in a small doodle pattern with white dot gel pen dots in between But we're going to find out coming up later. Anyway, it's been an interesting week. I hope it has been for you too. I hope you've had a good one. Um, don't forget to check out the video description. Any links for products I've mentioned this week uh, will be in the description, uh, description below along with links to my Etsy store. Um, my link tree link, again, is always in the video description. And if you click on that, you're going to find every place you can find me on the internet. All my stores, my Amazon affiliate store, my um, tip jar if you want to tip me and support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook groups. Um, um, my Instagram, my Twitter, all of it's all, all in Linktree. Uh, my happy mail address is down there in the description and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. If there is something that's missing that you're looking for specifically, message me and let me know or put it in the comments. Um, that's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want to be notified when new content comes out. We are doing an interval of Sanity's um, uh, live broadcast on this coming Sunday. Uh, if you're seeing this, you hopefully already seen that. If you haven't, go over to the channel and like the channel, and you'll be notified over there if you hit the bell icon. Every Sunday afternoon, uh, we do live broadcasts over there, um, or most Sundays. Um, we all have lives, so we do have to take a break, and Sunday is a tough day. So anyway, it is usually fun, hopefully informative, and yeah. So anyway, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.